Tonight is a celebration. On this, the night of a thousand ribbons, we honor Emperor Chittus for his heroic defense of our beloved capital. Long may he reign.
opens the gates to you for two reasons only. Dominus and piety. They made themselves our enemies. You made them dead. Now, Oyan believes there is a third reason. The beast is our enemy. Perhaps you can make it dead as well. Pride is a common flaw in men. We Maraketh beat such sickness out of our boys. Do you know why, duelist? If left unchecked, pride becomes a plague. There is a cure, of course. It's called devotion. Oyan has ordered me to help you, to trade with you. I have risked much to gather weapons and armor for this Akara. I've scavenged on the fringes of Vol's encampment and scouted the dead city. Let us see if you can offer any value in return. I am Tasuni, he who peers into the gloom, who hears the black hearts that thunder within the mountain deep. If you seek enlightenment, find a torch. If you seek to understand the nightmare, I can help feel your way through the darkness. You have bled and you have murdered, duelist. Why? For your precious glory. And where are you now? At the end of a world on the brink of extinction. Glorious! Kila rides more swiftly and strikes more truly than any other Dekara here. If only she could learn to think as swiftly as she rides and speak as truly as she strikes. Better and worse are judged not on the talents one prizes, but the talents one needs. I saw you fight back in Theopolis. You were good. But what you did back there in San, it was Terrifying. True. Don't misunderstand me. Piety, the rest, they deserve what they got. But there's no one like that here. These Maraketh, they're good people. Oh, he knows that, Vanya. I hope so, Pataris. My grandfather was a captain in the Ebony Legion. My father, too. And me just following the path that had been laid out for me. Until you met me? Yes, until I met the most beautiful woman I'd ever seen. Behind bars. An exile waiting to become an experiment. Not quite how I imagined meeting the man of my dreams. I realized then that I wasn't part of the Ebony Legion anymore. I'd become a blackguard like every other damned legionnaire in Sarn, taking orders from a madman. The Taurus freed me and led us here. I'd heard about the Maraketh from those few legionnaires who survived the assault on Highgate. And I talked them into harboring us. Vanya can be very persuasive when she wants to be. <laughs> Kira is a racist bully with that fancy hair crest of hers stuck so far up Come her. Come on, Vanya. She's a warrior. It's not her job to be nice. It's her job to defend... Look all lithe and sweaty when you're watching her train. That's the only job you're interested in. I'm studying the Maraketh fighting style. Sure you are, sweetie. To Sunni, he's a con man. The Tarish just doesn't understand him. I understand that he gets his every need catered for by talking in riddles and telling the lies. The truth about the nightmare. He makes sense of the chaos as best he can. How can we possibly know whether what he's telling us is the truth or not? We can't. But who else is there to ask? We've a few bits and pieces lying about that might help with what's to come. Bits and pieces? I risk my neck to salvage those artifacts. I know, sweetie, and I really appreciate your artifacts. You didn't say that when I brought them in. You said, is that all? You'd been gone for ages. And you think you could do a quicker job? Yes, if you'd let me, yes. No, not for all the jewelry in the world. What if I lost you? Okay, I'm sorry. 
We have charms and regalia sourced at great risk from some of the most dangerous places in Rayclast. Better? Yes, thank you. I heard of the beast before coming here. Piety talked about it. I suppose she saw no point in keeping secrets from the people she was planning to murder. I'm so sorry, Vanya. God, it's not your fault, Pataris. But Piety used to say that the beast was the source of her power. How she managed to turn poor men and women into those... things. She kept using a phrase. What was it? Universal transmogrification. I heard her assistants talk about it, too. The power to change the world into anything you like. Bloody scary power in the hands of someone like Piety. Bloody scary powerful stuff. Many great things begin at the foot of a mountain, Exile. So too do many tragedies. Often a path becomes a fork, and the echoes of your actions push you down one side or the other. Do you know where you were being carried? Would you like to? a cockroach, to crawl up into the bowels of this nightmare, traverse its innards, and rip out its corrupted heart. Oyun will help us. Go on now. Hobnob with the Maraketh Matriarch. Learn what needs to be learned, and quickly. There's a filthy darkness down in that mountain, and it's reeking with impatience to meet you. Seems like the rains brought out a few worms. Don't think I'm an easy mark, Exile. I've spent more than enough time around Exiles to know which way the dagger's pointing, and I'll happily give it a shove in your direction if you try anything wormy. I'm conducting a little dig, the sort of enterprise that could make someone with your particular skill set a very handsome living. Don't worry, you'll not be moving much dirt, no, no. Why well, smash rocks when you could smash skulls, eh? Hey, mate! What's going on? Came all the way here to see what's what in this famous mine, but there's a bloody big glowing wall blocking it. Can't squeeze through. It is the path of blood and glory that leads you to our gate. 
We Maraketh understand this path, yet we fight for our tribe, our Kara. You fight only for yourself, care only for yourself. That is your strength. Love breeds fear. You have no such weakness, and that is why you will kill the beast within the mountain. Lady Diala has told me this. She has much faith in you, Duelist. The question is, can we Maraketh share in her faith? Sakema Deshret sealed the mines, trapped the nightmare within its black den. The beast should never have been imprisoned. The beast should have been destroyed, yet for all her ferocity, it seemed that Deshret lacked the courage to do so. And now, after two centuries guarding this hole in the ground, this Akara lacks the strength. But you are not Deshret, and you are not one of us. You will succeed where we have failed. Deshret's banner will break the seal and open the mines. It was taken from her when she fell to Vol, the brittle emperor. Take the stairs to the southwest, descend to the dried lake. You shall have no trouble finding the brittle emperor. You'll smell him before you see him. Bring Deshret's banner home, and you will be free to pass into the darkness as you wish. The Maraketh once stood united under Deshret's banner. That was before the plagues, the tempests, the corruption. Deshret rode here with this Akara, the Kiato, to put an end to the beast curse. And upon the very threshold of the darkness, she faltered. Perhaps she saw that King Calm had gone there before her and not returned. Or perhaps the nightmare simply overcame Deshret's seemingly indomitable courage. Either way, she chose not to ride into the mountain to slay the beast. She closed and sealed the mines and committed this Akara to Highgate's guardianship. The tempests, the plagues, they passed. Of their own accord, or because of Deshret's seal, we do not know. But what I do know is this. When Deshret vowed to watch over these mines, she simply traded one curse for another. Vol and his unmen have dipped their fleshless claws into the lifeblood of the Maraketh since the day this Akara tethered its roar here. Such is the way with men of war. Remove their tongues, yet still they thirst for blood. Remove their bellies, yet still they hunger for battle. Remove their manhood, yet still they lust for conquest. I will make allies of whomever I deem useful. We have observed the actions of both Blackguard and Exile, and it is Pitaris and Banya who give meaning to those actions. This Akara has not mixed with other than its own for over 200 years. The outside world has now discovered us, so it is time that we discovered it. Kira has the blood of Deshret in her veins and the bonds of Deshret in her mind. Her loyalty to her Akara is admirable. Her loyalty to the past is not. Tasuni has been corrupted since the day he was born. Maraketh tradition would have it that such a warped child be left upon the moonlit plain for the gods to adopt. Tasuni was not taken by the gods that night. Such a thing has never happened before in our Akara. Now we know why. Tasuni is a man caught between two worlds, our world of light and the beast's world of darkness. He is our scout in the black, and without him, Nightmare would remain beyond our understanding. And an enemy you cannot know is an enemy you cannot fight. Diala wishes the beast dead. But why? Why would a nightmare wish to kill a nightmare? A question of great interest, yet little importance. It does not matter why the sun rises and sets, as long as it continues to do so. Speak, impatient reekings. 
They waft to me from that mountain. That's all I can smell. Not a cockroach. Stinking anticipation. Vol the Pure, they called him. Vol the Murderer, I call him. In his name, an emperor was murdered. In his name, an empire was murdered. Yes, it was Malachi's lips that kissed me. Yes, it was Malachi's hand that led me to the rapture. No, no, and no again. It was Vol's words that put me there. Yes. Hello. What can we do for you? Diana was there when it all went bad. If anyone can help put things right... Why would she? Ray class has been like this for almost 300 years. What's made her want to do something about it now? She's the Gemling Queen, Vanya. There's no way we could understand what goes on in that mind of hers. I know. And that's precisely what worries me. Oyun gave us a home. Our lives back. Appreciate the good ones when you find them in Ray class. It's not like there are many. Hello. What do you need now? I've led many a war party against Vol and his unmen, and I've seen too many of my Dakara die. I shall look for your return, but I shall not expect it. As we give strength to the outside, we grow weaker on the inside. First, there was Pataris and Vanya. Now there is you. It shows how little faith Oyan has in us, in her own Akara that she would treat blackguards and exiles with such admiration. Oyan is my Sikema, my commander. I am her Dikara, her warrior. I defend this Akara as Oyan sees fit. Whether Oyan is fit to see what is best for this tribe, it is not for me to say. My mother gave Tasuni to the gods. The gods gave him back. And I thank them for it every day. Given the choice, I would never have chosen Tasuni as my brother. But then, family is not about what you want. It is about what you need. When a woman forgets how to die, a woman forgets how to live. Deshret said that to her Dakara on the day she killed Titushus, scourge of the Maraketh. I say this of Diala. When a woman knows nothing of life, how can she care for the living? Oh, hello. Oh. I was a good man. I fought for God. I remember saying so. That symbol, the Descry. It stirs my half-remembered blood to think of it. I wanted to do good things, important things. Can you imagine finding the truth of oneself on the wrong side of morality? I have thought long on this fearful notion, but now I know exile, and that relieves me. I am no longer afraid to recover more of my memories. Look me in the eye. The Marrakes are stranded in the sandstorm of reflection and regret. We look to El Sakemma to lead us out. Yet the sandstorm is all she knows. She needs me. Her eyes and ears in the darkness. But she will never comprehend my gifts. Diala has the form of a woman. Yet the substance is one part corruption and nine parts death. One day soon, you will see how lifeless she truly is. Petardus and Vanya, two mouths that speak from one mind. When together, they express some quite interesting thoughts. When apart, well, half a thought isn't really even a thought, is it? The Marakath speak of his betrayal, 
But Vo did what he thought was necessary to destroy the beast. Now he wonders the desiccation, tortured as much by his failure as by nightmare. The Red Sekema was the woman who forged what it meant to be Malaketh. A people united, strong. Deshret led fires in the hearts of women and loins of men. When she fell, so did the Malaketh. We've been falling ever since. Now, this is... grim?
seemed to me, Vol, that I just did you a favor. I vowed to care for this empire with my eyes open. I lied to my people. I lied to myself. Blinded by my lust for purity, I placed my faith in the most corrupt of men. I watch now as my legion dies, their flesh melting from their twisted bones. They fall and rise. A tide of mortal death and eternal damage. I feel it now in my own flesh. I have failed you, my Empire of Purity. Do not forgive me, but please, take of you. Survive me. to pride myself on taking care of these tomes, that the ancient treatises concerning the Vaal should be burned. He's making me research for him, and the things I am reading about concern the destruction of all mankind. Oh, 
Hello. Uh, that memory end is so sad.
I believe in traveling light. Yes? What do you need now? Yes? yes? Let me tell you. What do you want? Deshret's banner flies at the mine's entrance, and now the darkness gapes, hungry and expectant. Our Red Sakema sealed that gate for a reason. Not simply to prevent the beast from reaching out, 
but to hinder those fools who would disturb its slumber. And here you are, about to be swallowed by that darkness. Let us hope the beast doesn't notice your passing. Hundreds of our Dekara have fallen to Vol and his legion throughout the years. They died defending their Akara. Now Vol is gone, killed by an outsider. You bask in the glory, exile, while I honor the dead. <clears throat> yes. Emperor Vol is dead, for good this time. And the entrance to the mine stands open. I suppose you'll be heading down there to To free us from the sickening supremacy of Nightmare. I was going to say to kick some Nightmare ass. I think I put it better. Of course you did, sweets. Let me tell you a few. See that? One moment, big blades. Next moment, gone! Should be able to go in there now. Heard this place reeked of Voltaxic Sulfite back in the day. I was planning on having a wander down there, only... I think I can hear things shuffling around down there. And I'm more of a lover than a fighter. <laughs> Actually, if you're headed in there, maybe you could do us a favour. See, I run a little mining operation of my own. Mining's dangerous at the best of times, but it's suicidal without a proper source of light. I've got lights, just ain't got no power. Run on Voltaxic Sulfide, they do. Nasty rocks. Stink like a dozen eggs rotting in the summer sun on the back of a whale carcass. And they're less stable than the high temper on a bad day. Bloody toxic, too. Keep your nostrils peeled for some Voltaxic Sulfide while you're down there. Or anywhere, really. See that? One moment, big blades. Next moment, gone. Should be able to go in there now. See that? The gate is open. And now I hear her voice as clearly as if she was sitting right here with me. Words of a dead woman reverberating up from the depths of Highgate. A spirit chained, yet not enslaved, tortured, yet unbroken. That dead woman is Deshret, and our red Sakema longs to return to the dust of her vestiary. Free her, and I shall reward you as my gifts allow. In destroying Vol, you have avenged many a pretty bloody nose around here. Well done, you. The rapture is our hope, our desperation. It will set the nightmare to boil, cook that nice big fishy in its own whining brine. Listen with all of your ears, not a cockroach. The rapture was Malachi's most wondrous creation. The only fire hot enough to burn the beast from existence. And its fuel? A gemling queen. Blood and flesh and gem. Yet my selfish self did not want to burn away, and so the fire was but a tiny spark. The spark of a cataclysm. I am sorry, my love, my Malachi. Go to it, not a cockroach. Find the rapture. Make me sorry no more. The rapture was to rend open the hide of nightmare and broil the beast's bitter innards in the sweet fire of mortality. The vessel was strong and oh so willing. The medicine was oh so weak. The gate is open, and the darkness calls. Good hunting, Cursebreaker.
We read the land, learn its stories. Kalm and his warriors entered those mines some 20 years before Deshret sealed the mines and bound our Kara to this mountain. Neither soil nor stone speak of Kalm's return. Perhaps he is dead, or perhaps he merely wishes he was. After all, anything seems possible. Yes, Tasuni has informed me of Deshret's existence within the mines, but has been unable to tell me how she comes to be there. Another troubling hole in our knowledge of Nightmare. Regardless of her origins, I will not risk my Dekara in an attempt to free her. Even were she still flesh and blood, I would decide the same. She is our Sikema no longer, and we have fulfilled our duty to her memory many times over. Kira will not agree, yet her revolt will rise only as words. I am her Sikema, and she will not cross me. So, free Deshret, if the opportunity arises. It is only right that she be allowed to return to the dust of the Vastiri, but it would be wrong if any should follow her there. Speak! Who are you? Oh! What do you need now? Deshret lies shackled in the darkness, while I, her blood, am shackled by duty to remain here. Oyan has decreed it. Will it be you then who frees Deshret from her dishonor? Perhaps you will, perhaps you won't. Either way, it is Deshret's fate to suffer at the mercy of injustice. Do you need help with something? Welcome. Welcome. Yes. Anything you need, just ask.
ground shaking entrance. Good find, Exile. Ah, this is the stuff. Good nose, Exile. You find more, and I'll come right over. Don't touch it, though. Stuff will send you mad without the right precautions. You think I want to be dressed like this? Tell you what, how about we take a look around my mine? Talk to me when you're ready to go. Welcome, Exile. Like shite, eh? Well, don't judge a mine by its entrance. Eternals used to pull all sorts of goodies out of these rocks, and they never had my secret weapon. Just inside the mine shaft is my creaky little crawler. Took one of the old Eternal torture devices and uh, repurposed it. Oh, it can still tear your skin off like peeling a fruit, but hopefully it won't try to. Instead, it can lay down a daisy chain of lights powered by that voltaxic sulfite. You'll want to be on the lookout for more of that, mind you. This big beauty next to me? My pride and joy. Feeds Crawler with refined and purified sulfite. And it's capable of taking all sorts of the raw materials strewn below ground and turning them into sources of light and explosives. <laughs> How about you head underground and follow the mechanical little bugger to an azurite vein, eh? The darkness within those walls is unnatural. It does not fade in the presence of light. It retreats like a living beast. I'd not wander too far from the lamps if I were you. Been working on this machine on and off for years. Hard to really test it without the raw materials from the mine. You're here now, though, so maybe that will change. This beauty can take the azurite you find in there and turn it into flares and dynamite. Enough azurite, and I can make this thing more efficient than it already is. Able to hold a lot more sulfite, and able to make better flares and dynamite. Grew up in Oriath. Used to love the city. Spent my youth combing the woods around it for sulfite. No one else knew how to handle the stuff, but the Templar had a voracious appetite for it. Needed it to power whatever godforsaken machines they were building. Made a very healthy living for myself until, well, let's just say, for a while I thought I was a, a, a prophet. The Templar don't take so kindly to people calling themselves prophets. Locked me up in a madhouse, but I dug me way out. The Templar like escapees even less than they like false prophets. So here I am, digging around in eternal rubble. Looks like shite, eh? Well, don't judge a mine by its entrance. Eternals used to pull all sorts of goodies out of these rocks, and they never had my secret weapon. Just inside the mine shaft is my creaky little crawler. Took one of the old eternal torture devices and uh, repurposed it. Oh, it can still tear your skin off like peeling a fruit, but hopefully it won't try to. Instead, it can lay down a daisy chain of lights powered by that voltaxic sulfite. you want to be on the lookout for more of that, mind you. This big beauty next to me? My pride and joy. Feeds Crawler with refined and purified sulfite. And it's capable of taking all sorts of the raw materials strewn below ground and turning them into sources of light and explosives. <laughs> How about you head underground and follow the mechanical little bugger to an azurite vein, eh? Looks like shite.
this is Crawler. Capable of scouting out a few of the valuables hidden down here. But needs your muscle to get to them. Tell it where you want to go. And try to stay alive till you get there. Crawler will burn through sulfite on the way. And we ain't made of sulfite, so choose carefully. How about you follow it to a nearby azurite vein, eh? Make sure you stick near Crawler's light. Believe me, you don't want to get dragged into the darkness. Welcome. Ah, this is the stuff. Nicely exiled.
nicely, Exile. Actually, I'm really not sure I like the sound of that. Hello? Lend us your eyes, that we may see past the darkness in our hearts. Venomous, lend us your web, that we may bind our tribes together. Always happy to help a damsel in distress.
this will do nicely, Exile. Hello. Ah, this is the stuff. a good way to end this tale of mine. The summer sun, we followed Tarkas in search of the promised land. Before long, hunger grips our stomachs. The doomlands take their toll. Our numbers dwindle, and discord spreads among the tribesmen.
Rapture device has absorbed its fill of harvested life for fury and desire. It is ready. So am I. I know now that I was born to be the end and the beginning of the Empire. The beast has made this clear to me. As clear and undeniable as the sacrifice I must now make. My Lady Diala, my love, my life's greatest achievement. She must leave me now, for she cannot follow, and she will perish if she remains. And so I will ask of her more than she would ever give. I will betray her. I will break her heart so that I do not break her soul. You know, not a cockroach. Had I accepted my place, my rapturous role, the beast would be no more, no less, no anything at all. My selfishness tickled the beast's fancy and it laughed the world I knew away. Yet I have had much time to think on my lonesome, much time to wonder. Wonder if the rapture really needs to eat a gemlin queen. Maybe something else will get its catastrophic juices slathering. Something like eyeball soup, the eye of fury, the eye of desire. Pretty gems for our pretty designs. But where could they be? Don't fret now. I have my suspicions. Calm, the sovereign of slaughter. He remains and suffers his delusions right here in the halls of nightmare. Fury is all he knows. So fury calm will have. Doresso, king of swords, damned by desire. Oh, aren't we all? He's down here too, and desire's curse remains his to bear. Go on, not a cockroach. Bring me the crown jewels so that we might wake the rapture and finally put an end to this pestering beast. Old axe for brains. Calm had Eternals dragged from their homes all over the south coast. Like sheep, he butchered them, no matter how desperately they bleated. He adorned his doorways with the heads of women and children. What makes a hero or a villain? It depends who you ask. The Sword King. Before my time. Beyond my time. Where is time anyway when you need it? Never stand still. That's the problem. Except if you are Doresso. Petrified with love he is. A love he doesn't realize is long, long, long gone. Bye bye. With the death of the last monster here, the very air itself feels different. I wouldn't use the word purified, but you've definitely negated the pile over this place. 
I'll stay here for now and make sure nothing dangerous re-emerges. Greetings. Greetings. He's well-intentioned. That's the foremost thing I can say about him. I've never seen any trace of hostility in his actions, but his words sometimes stray from the path he set for them, and his laughter can be a little too gleeful. I fear that Voltaxic Sulfite exposure is poisoning his mind. But despite that, he may be the most qualified person on Rayclast when it comes to the mysteries under the Earth. And under the Earth, is exactly where thousands of years of history have sunk over time. Oh, hello. Let me tell your future. Hello. Four of shared flesh and blood. Raise an army of borrowed blood and bone. Deshret has ascended and returned, as we all must, to the dust of Vastiri. The Red Sekema's dishonor has passed, and for that outsider, I will always be grateful. Yet honor lies not in whether an act is committed. Honor lies in how an act is committed. What does it say of the Maraketh when we are forbidden to attend to our own? What does it say of Oyan and her belief in her own blood, our own honor? Can we be of help? Doresso? He's down there inside the mountain. Are we talking about the Doresso? The Sword King? Seems like it. But how did he get in there? He left Oriath about a century and a half ago, hoping to find a cure for his lady, Mervail. He would have had to fight his way through the Marrakech, but Oyun's never mentioned anything of the sword. Maybe he didn't go in alive. What do you mean? We live in a land where the dead walk and things like Diala live for centuries. You think he died somewhere else and then the beast got hold of him? Could be. Well, if the beast can do that, then what bloody good was Deshret's seal? Exactly. Hello. Welcome, Exile. Not the prettiest spot in Rayclast, but relatively dry and safe as long as you stay in the line. Never cared about a good view, anyway. Much prefer a cosy spot indoors. Not many of those on Rayclast that aren't filled with bloody flesh eaters, though, eh? Ah, this is 
is this thing? Speak your mind. Diala said but one thing to me before descending into the mines. My love awaits. I know not why, but those three words frighten me more than any I have heard in my lifetime. Thank you for doing Deshret so great an honor. Your generosity shall be remembered. Dereso. Yes, Pataras has spoken of him. The disturbing question is this. How does a man who by all accounts has been dead for over a hundred years end up as a nightmare monarch in the bowels of Highgate? Unlike Kalm, there is utterly no trace of his passing, and we have scouted every footstep of this mountain and its surrounds. There is no other entrance, no physical entrance. Deshret, and now this, Dereso. Yes, most disturbing. I felt it, saw it, the storm of her release. Our red Sakema is free to mingle once more with the red earth of her birthplace. Desret was the howling wind, the lash and bite of the driving dust. A wild Vesteria is weakened by her absence no longer. You've done yourself proud today, Exile. Right to the wrong that we Marraketh have borne for far too long. And of course, as promised, you shall be rewarded. Nightmare is not without sophistication. In life, Doreso was tortured by frustration and shame. In death, Nightmare has erased his past and forged a dream world in which Doreso would remain contented and loved. What if Nightmare could do that for all of us? Would we really wish to destroy it then? My understanding of Kawom, the man, is that he was a prisoner of his own delusions. Now, he is a prisoner of someone else's. The power of Nightmare to manipulate the soul never ceases to impress me. That could be you one day, should you continue to follow this dark and winding path. Beneath your feet, creation shivers and writhes. It yearns for transformation like a worm in a cocoon that dreams of wings and freedom. A transformation that only the beast can excite. A dark god of ancient sacrifice, a muse to the twisted and vile. The beast, the nightmare, the darkness, names given to it by mortals that think with slugs bound in shells of bone. Yet, one man knew the beast's true name, understood its impenetrable nature, Malachi. I felt it, saw it, the storm of her release. Our red Sakema is free to mingle once more with the red earth of her birthplace. Deshret was the howling wind, the lash and bite of the driving dust. A wild Vesteria is weakened by her absence no longer. You've done yourself proud today, Exile. Right to the wrong that we Marraketh have borne for far too long. And of course, as promised, you shall be rewarded. What is it, Exile? Do you need help with something? Hello? What do you require? 